Gotcha. So I'm Robin McKinley. I'm the director of CODA and uh, we are just wrapping up our tour of the Econa Musées in Quebec. But it's been uh, four or five years we've been working with the Econa Musée Network and Cal Eric, the director. And uh, I think that the values of the network and the, our Cree values are uh, very much in sync. And I think that by creating an Econa Musée in Mistisni for, for the preparation of moose hide in the traditional manner and the sewing and highlighting everything we can do with the moose, I think is a real opportunity for the Cree Nation of Mistisni. Um, and I think the when after this visit uh, of all the, the museums th this past few days, I think it's really obvious that the passion that people have for their trade, for their traditional know-how, and that they're really passionate not only about sharing it with the visitors, but they're also passionate about, about keeping it alive and, and passing it down and maintaining it, the culture and the know-how. So I think uh, in this day and age of technology, I think that that's really an important value. So. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and, and I certainly enjoyed my trip. Thank you. Miigwech. Cool. Hello everybody. Uh, my name is Etienne. I'm from I'm working from Bilodeau, for Bilodeau Canada in Normandin, uh, Lac Saint-Jean. Here is Mario Bilodeau, is the owner of the company. Bonjour. So Bilodeau Canada is a company that it's uh, started in 1985 uh, from by Mario Bilodeau and uh, now we're very proud to say that we are uh, we employ 85 people from our town uh, called Normandin so if, uh, it's uh, 3000 people only so we're the biggest employer in uh, in Normandin and also uh, what's interesting so we are working with fur for obviously uh, so we're starting from the raw material to the final product so we have different departments here so the fur dressing department the uh, the confection department where we are doing all the boots and the fur accessories and uh, we also have a taxidermy department like this uh, pieces here that you can see that it's very impressive so it's all in Normandie here sitting here so you can come visit us also if you want to to see more you can visit also the Economuse of uh, Pelletier Botier and the taxidermy so it's a visit when you can go through all the department uh, with a guide that's gonna explain uh, what we're doing here so welcome uh, welcome to you uh, <laughs> ジョブ的なんで so here we are in a farm, a mohair a goat farm. Uh, this is a family business, the daughter and brother. I mean, the sister and brother took over in year 2000 and uh, they got together and decided to raise Angora goats. And it started off very slowly. Uh, I've, I've been guiding here. I've guided here for 11 straight years. And so they've been working mostly to get known in the area. They work with cruise ships. Uh, they work very hard, as I mentioned. Uh, you know, when they started off, as I mentioned in year 2000, there must have been about 10 Economuse in Quebec and in the eastern part of Canada. I think it was New Brunswick. And it, was, it comes from an idea, I think the man comes from New Brunswick who first thought about this way of keeping up your knowledge on artisan work. So I do wish you the very best and I do wish 
that you will keep up this knowledge and uh, good luck to all of you. Bonjour, Conrad Miatskam Sangasso, Tourism Planner for Green Nation Sydney. Uh, we're at the last stop of our economy tour. It has been uh, a great learning experience. Uh, I'm Mojiga Miatman, and I should stay there for Mojiga. Mojiga, I hope you have a good time. 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 I hope you have a good uh, one of my favorites is the, um, well, they're, they're all unique, they're, uh, it's hard to choose one that I really like, but um, one of them is the Bilodo, how they transform fur and um, different ways they, 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 they sell it. Some of them are, uh, one, one, one other thing that sticks out also is one of them uh, said that, you know, at once this was just a dream, just a, an idea. Uh, uh, she showed us a, a little shack that she had by the road selling potatoes. And then with the vision that she shared, Eventually, it became a full-scale operation raising uh, emus, and she just recently opened a, a new a new building uh, last last year. As I, uh, it's it's inspiring, and uh, it shows that it shows what we can do for for the community as well. Uh, name is Robert and um, welcome to uh, l'Ecole Musée de, du Fromage. Uh, um, the uh, Ecole Musée started in 97 and I, I was involved a little bit on the display and today uh, we've expanded since 2006 with more buildings and stuff like that. And um, uh, our, our goal uh, today is to give an education to the people, not just the cheese making, but how the cheese is made, the different type of cows, uh, what the cows eat, the feeding, I mean, and uh, the, the environment uh, they're living. And uh, with that, we have to talk about the past, uh, where we started uh, back in the 1800s and where we are today. And the whole aspect of, of uh, La Letit Charbois uh, will demonstrate all this with the museum, the oral artifacts, the equipment, the uh, natural uh, gas that we produce to create our own cheese. This is a, a uh, uh, we get uh, visitors from around the world, everywhere. Uh, we do bus tours, agencies. Uh, hope uh, that uh, you uh, enjoy your tour and, uh, and hope that uh, more people will come and visit us. Welcome to La Papeterie Saint-Gilles. Here we are, we are an Econo-Musée uh, from Economic and Museum, which means that we are showing uh, what we do. We do sell paper and we are making it here. And the technique we're using is an ancestral technique. It was made in the 1600, up into the 1800. It's a cotton-based paper and everything is made on a sieve in a tank, hand by hand, sheet by sheet, is, uh, is very important to us. And especially uh, cotton-based paper that doesn't produce any kind of pollution. Every sheet is important, every sheet is uh, made with our passion and our love. So that's why we want to show our workshop, so you can understand uh, more about uh, what we sell here. And, uh, and I think it's the same for all the other Econo Musée. There is now um, 83 in the world, if I'm not wrong, um, about different things um, that you can um, see how it's made 
and uh, understand more. We put our hands in the matter and we share it with you. Bonjour tout le monde, nous sommes au Traverseux Espace Patrimoine Canot à glace. Mon nom est Annie Harvey, je suis la directrice générale de, cette, de ce super site. Je me fais la porte-parole du groupe de les Traverseux pour vous inviter euh, tous les cris à venir voir euh, notre espace. So, hi, I'm Melanie from the Economusée Network. I'm working with Annie on this project for the heritage space of Ice Canoe. And we uh, we welcoming you to come here to know what is an heritage space and why it's so important to preserve the know-how and to have place to explain, to present to to visitors how it's uh, important to have know-how and to have a place to uh, make and to uh, experience high canoe and to do 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 Hi, my name is Caroline Perron. I am the director of Les Moulins de l'Île aux Coudres. Uh, Les Moulins de l'Île aux Coudres uh, is in the, the Milling Eco Museum since uh, 1996. And uh, it was the second Eco Museum in the, to join uh, the group. Uh, I introduce uh, Jérôme de Miller to speak to you about uh, East Trade. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Jerome. I'm one of the two Miller here on the site. So I'm Miller here since more than 10 years. And we just want to demonstrate to the people how we can produce flour with an ancestral process. Uh, we like to show our patient. Uh, we like to produce flour. We grind up to 12 tons a year here during summer. And uh, we just invite you to come to visit us uh, in Charlevoix in Gaudre for the main museum. Bonjour, je me présente Eric Desgagné, copropriétaire des cidreries Verger Penneau, économisé du cidrier, donc euh, tout ce qui est transformation. Uh, my English is not good uh, for speaking, Nathalie Pilato. Hello. Well, one of the main reasons we uh, joined the Econ Museum uh, Network is for its prestige. Um, it offers up a lot of visibility. We have a lot of a net, uh, a lot of a business with the other Econo Museum. So there's a lot of uh, a, a great network, and also they offer us a lot of support, whether for design, uh, architecture, marketing, marketing. So that's uh, for us. It's uh, uh, it, it um, it's based on family tradition, and so that's we uh, we approve. Thank you. Do you want to come with a dog or your business? That's a sad here. I made for a guy in the Their businesses must get passionate at our with Magatska and Harry Dabbits dog And to go, I am doing it, man. I have much a hex to young and eager Yem dot man ga tu kun tu kan ga sat sayan ya dot man he de ga jano inot ga ta ne si ga he mo sian ya mi ko ma ga tro sian hen gan hen ni my passion ek mo ga sai he hem sten mo ga ga na se tro da wa ti da da ni ta ni se sat sta da for those of you who were not able to attend the tour it's always possible to go back to Saint Lac Saint Jean and visit some of of our member artisan and the next step with working with Miss Tissini, what could be an economy museum on Moose Hide. 
we need to understand what are the different steps, uh, what we need in terms of, of uh, area, uh, are we looking at a new building? Could we use an actual uh, building to do this economy on this height? So uh, over the next few months, we're going to work with uh, people in, in the Mysticini community to define this project. Something which is really, really important. This project is not the project of the economy networks, and we're only here to help the community to think about what could be the economy museum. And that's what we do. We do business support with the artisan. Uh, we've been doing that for at least uh, 25 years. And uh, hopefully we're going to see you soon.